most accurate local forecast starts now with meteorologist Brett Thackeron. Ah, good morning, everybody. Great to be back with you here on this Monday. And uh, boy, we kicked off October in style yesterday, didn't we? A lot of sunshine and temperatures warming up and we're going to have a nice week ahead as well. This is Penn State Mount Alto. Oh boy, the data off again, but it was in the 50s and I think that's where we are going to be sitting. Let's see if Enola uh, is going to work for me here. It was 58. There it is. Yeah, in the dew point of 58. That's that's about where Montalto was. I think Montalto was at 56 when I last checked before the commercial. So again, a clear start, comfortable temperatures. And the one thing we're not seeing on too many of our cameras, but it is around. It's patchy would be some fog a visibility issues this morning around 79 yesterday, just shy of 80. Again, think about how much above normal it was yesterday. Almost 10 degrees, right? We should be in the low 70s. We're going to be in the low 80s here to kickstart this week. Now the record today is 93. That was set just a few years ago in 2019. No rain on the way and uh, no rain yesterday means our deficit still sitting at about six inches. But keep in mind with some of the rain that we had last week and we're doing OK. And uh, I think we're, uh, you know, still in uh, a drought watch, but uh, it, it's better now that we had a lot of that rain last weekend. Satellite and radar picture is quiet. High pressure is just going to dominate here early this week, which means we've got another uh, nice stretch of weather coming at us. Temperatures running from 62 in Harrisburg down to about 55 in York and Chambersburg this morning. I mean, it, it's comfortable. Dew points are low. But they're actually a little bit higher than they have been. We've been used to dew points in the 40s here. Uh, they're creeping back up towards 60 degrees, but it's still overall very pleasant and it's going to be right. We're not talking about humid weather this week, but a little bit of late summer. Now, that's going to be the flavor here as we move into the next several days. So a weak little front to our north. That is not an issue because high pressure is really going to dominate. We can see clear skies from Maine all the way through New England, Pennsylvania, the Mid-Atlantic and the Ohio Valley. And it's all thanks to this. I mean, this is a sprawling ridge of high pressure and thanks to clockwise flow around the high. Uh, we can see warm air across the central part of the country. This is going to be headed our way here for the remainder of the week. Really essentially a, a week where we will be in the 80s with lots of sunshine. By the end of the week, we start to see our rain chances increase. So precision cast shows again. I, I think mainly sunny skies. I think it's going to be hard to buy a cloud here over the next several days. We may see a few fair weather cumulus, but it's one of those stretches where I don't even need to pause precision cast over the next three days. It looks that nice. Let's talk about the extended because this is the time of year where it's autumn, right? October is a busy month. We have plans. Uh, let's talk about the extended and as we head into the weekend, there will be some rain chances, but for the next five days, we will be well above the average of 71 degrees getting into the low 80s today. Tuesday and Wednesday look like the warmest days of the week, and we will still be above average for Thursday and Friday as well. Rain chances here over the next several days do look slim, but as we move into Friday and Saturday, a cold front will move through and Saturday especially looks damp with a few scattered showers, not necessarily a washout, but there will be some rain around clouds increase late Thursday by late Late Friday, we start to see some showers and then Saturday does look wet often on scattered showers here and they're going to continue. We've got an upper level low that's going to sit just to our north and that will provide us with some clouds on Sunday, a few showers to start next week, and that is also going to cool us way down from where we start this week. It's not going to be a lot of rain. Most of the long range guidance suggests about a quarter to a half inch. I think that seems right with this upper level low, just more uh, of a nuisance with showers. But as we look at next week and really starting over the weekend heading into next week, we do see a big cool down. So as warm as it is now and this week, October starting out mild, it is going to cool off by uh, really the second week of the month heading into next week. So 80 today, well above average sunny skies, just a gorgeous one tonight. 58 clear and pleasant with patchy fog around again. And when we look at the seven day, we can see just how quiet it is this week. It's going to be warm though. Again, temperatures uh, above average here each and every single day by the weekend. This upper low takes over. We'll get some scattered showers Saturday. It will be breezy here this weekend too, but notice the trend. The temperatures by Sunday only near 60 degrees, so mm. big cool down next week. More sweater weather. Enjoy it while it lasts. Enjoy this warm air. Yes, indeed. It'll be nice. Stay with us. We'll be right back.